Welcome back guys, this is Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. This video is an outtake of a recent video I put up on the channel looking at an update on Bitcoin, ETH, Cardano and the market sentiment coming up to the 20th anniversary of 9-11. I did the video with my brother Michael Pizzino, you might know him from his YouTube channel and Twitter account or from the Investor Accelerator, our uh, trading and investing membership. If you want to see the video in full, there is a link to that down below. There's a lot of good information in there, so I highly suggest checking that out. Otherwise, check out this video because we do talk about which cryptocurrency may have been better to sell out of in order to purchase ADA, uh, something that we look at quite often on the channel when it comes to buying Bitcoin or ETH and whether we should sell these for other cryptocurrencies. So without further ado, make sure you've hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon and check out all the links down below. We're looking at ADA at $1.40. So anyone that missed out on the lows around a dollar, uh, we had this run up and then we started to consolidate. So if you just think back to the ETH BTC, we had that ETH pump up against Bitcoin and it started to consolidate and then it's it's broken out. What I'm looking for now on ADA is, is this a uh, confirmed breakout or is this a fake out? So the thing that I'd like to see now and we're starting to see it now is immediate a continuation to higher prices. And at least right. for the way I look at the market, it's not a time to be for me to be diving in now when you know a lot of the move could potentially already be done um that's as a trader yeah, I, just I, make that. I just want to mention that in terms of like a trade if someone wants to buy and hold this thing and they're not concerned for the next five years or two years or, or whatever then these smaller uh 20 moves are probably not going to concern them too much or at least hopefully not concern them um but if you're looking to trade this then of course the breakout has happened yeah, that's right. Yeah, the breakout, it's well and truly broken out. Um, yep. And for the confirmation, I, I like to see immediate continuation. So another another green bar and another reasonable close. And anything other than that has me think that it could be a potential fake out. And that's with obviously with my trader's hat on. I'm not talking about the project or the fundamentals. It's just, is this signal, um, has all the smart money, are they holding their position? They've already bought in, it's gone up. Are they holding or have they started to sell to take profits? That's the way my mind kind of works with positions like this. Yeah, and, and we can see those happen in the past as well. What I don't want to see is a big pump like this and then it kind of stall and just break back below the old tops. So that's that's really what I don't want to see on ADA. Yeah. I want to see it and that's gonna, straight away. Yeah. It's a different time of the market as well. Like that, we're in a, a bullish sense and the market just, continued up whereas now we've just come off the back of a, a downtrend so yeah, we're still trying to find our levels phase. again so ada eth also looking quite good it's broken uh and exactly the same story like what exactly what we don't want to see is this market just stop like we had this here this is just a bigger all we've had is a bigger version of this bar here so if this if ada eth starts to stall out and starts to reverse perhaps this was just like a little bit of uh, excitement and hope and the smart money is just taking profits um, to all the optimism. Gotcha. And we can see it. Yeah, we can see it happen fairly often. Like we don't, we don't want to see something like this where we get this big pump uh, and then interest just fades the very next day. So for confirmation, like we're saying, is another green bar with a reasonable close, and that's confirmation that the smart money is holding. Whoever's bought in lower is still holding on because they're anticipating an even bigger move. And then if we can get above those um, support previous support levels. Uh, that drove the market. Yeah, th those, not that high, but um, well, there's the 50% and then where the 50% is basically lines up with the support levels. And I guess what yeah. I was talking about, I don't want to see it fall and close below a breakout level because this is in a different position. I'd be watching, well, I am watching this trend line here. So if we do start to falter and close below the trend line, then that tells me this is just a fake a fake out. Whereas if <laughs> we do you know, move and, and close reasonable, then we're going to start testing some more significant levels. Sweet. Yeah, All this, right. So that's our conf yeah. exactly. So that's the com uh, confirmation on this move. So we did get the big move out uh, just a couple of days ago. I had Ada on the channel, or I was talking about Ada, and I was just looking at this, saying I don't really see a low forming, and then we get this one weird pump up bar. So for the the holders, for the bullish, the holders of us of Ada, we want to see this continue continuation. If we don't get that, then this is just one of those moves that. Uh, shows itself and continues to fade like it did back in March, you know, after the big all time yeah. high. Yeah. Well, that faded it's then it pumped and then it faded again. Yeah. Faded, got this pump and it just, yeah, died off again. Yeah. We don't want that.
A to BTC. So if anyone has BTC and ETH in their portfolio and they're looking to get into some ADA, uh, at least for me anyway, obviously not financial advice, none of that, um, I'd be looking at which which crypto ADA is stronger relative to what I was already holding. So if we're looking at ADA ETH, um, we can see that it was just creeping lower, making lower highs, lower lows. Whereas with ADA Bitcoin, it already had a, a good move up and it had made a higher low relative to down here. So for me anyway, that'd be telling me I'm going to use my Bitcoin to buy ADA. I'm not going to use my ETH. And even now we can see the follow through has already continued up a bit more, whereas ADA ETH is just languishing. Like it's just, it's not getting as much energy. The momentum was already in ADA BTC as opposed to ADA ETH. So I would expect ADA to outperform Bitcoin more than ETH if, if this is going to keep going up. Gotcha. Good way to look at it because I talk about Bitcoin on the channel often uh, and they're pairs. So that's just a good way to look at which one should I use to then go and speculate on uh, other cryptocurrencies to hopefully make more Bitcoin. And hopefully over time, ADA outperforms Bitcoin. I'm sure you found some value from that video, especially around the discussion of Bitcoin and ETH holdings and whether we do sell those into other assets and how to assess that on a chart. If you did want to check out the full video, there's a link to that down below. Of course, you can also stake your Cardano with the Investor Accelerator staking pool. Link to that is down below as well. Make sure you're getting some interest, uh, earning some passive income on your ADA, whether it's with the Investor Accelerator pool or any other pool. It's a good idea to get some uh, passive income on that. Make sure you've hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. There's still a special on the Investor Accelerator if you want to join the membership. Otherwise, I'll see you on Instagram and on Twitter. All the links are down below. But until next time, have more fun to get more done.